masquerade. I'm not gonna talk about the Phantom of the Opera. I just want to show off this beautiful necklace. Hello guys and welcome. Today I want to talk about my favorite musicals. Uh, bear with me, you might hate them, you might love them. I feel that my approach is slightly different to most people. Maybe that's just my impression, but I feel like most people just like the genre or not. I personally like some a lot, but I'm kind of picky. I definitely see much, much more straight plays than musicals. And actually what I like about them is not the music itself, but the ability of the music to tell the story. So I like the shows that are very story-based or character-based and everything is very integrated and the music is sort of action-based. I hope you know what I mean. I will also try to explain it a bit better in this video. I've chosen five musicals that are maybe not really my current favorites. I don't really have like a set of favorites that I've seen 17 times or something like that. But these will be the ones that I have really loved in the past and they have really influenced my taste and my interest in the genre. The first one is definitely Les Mis. I've seen Les Mis when I was perhaps 14. I just loved it and listened to the music over and over again. It's probably the first one that showed me how powerfully the music can convey an emotion. So that sort of sparked my interest in other musicals as well. The next important one for me was Chicago and specifically the film version. I'm not really sure when I first saw it, but let's place it after Les Mis because I don't think I've seen it right when it came out. It's the one that showed me that musicals can work in the film form. I've actually since seen a couple of productions of Chicago that were nowhere as good as the film. And I've absolutely loved Catherine Zeta-Jones in it. So I think that's the one when I realized quite what an opportunity can a musical offer for a performer. Number three is The Full Monty, which is an American musical based on the British film. I'm not actually sure if this musical ever was in the West End. It definitely was on Broadway. And I have seen it in Prague in a theater with an ensemble of straight actors. It was such an exciting event and you could feel so much energy coming from the performance as well as the audience because it was something unusual in this particular venue and for these actors. So they were all so energetic and happy to be doing this really well written musical. So even though some people said that like the singing wasn't that great because they were not professional singers, they were just actors. But I realized that that's actually what I like, this acting singing. Because what I like is when the character actually acts through the song, the stage presence and the overall expression of the actor is much more important for me than just the quality of the voice itself, the quality of the tones. So that's where my deep appreciation for actors who can do both straight plays and musicals started. I love this type of actors to this day, Imelda Staunton being the prime example. The next one I chose is Billy Elliot. Who doesn't like Billy Elliot? That's just the one that always makes me want to dance that makes me want to learn ballet, which is a lost cause. I'm not gonna attempt that. And it's incredibly uplifting, but still having this very well-written story arc. I feel like Billy Elliot showed that you can do something incredibly lovely and positive and uplifting without sort of making compromises in the structure of the play. And the last one I want to talk about is very dear to me and it basically opened the door for me to all the musicals that I love today and that's Sweeney Todd. 
because now for the past few years I have been obsessed with Sondheim and I like other musicals that sort of work similarly. I have seen Sweeney Todd in 2012 with Michael Ball and Imelda Staunton in London and it was just something really exceptional. They were both absolutely brilliant. I don't like when opera singers sing Sweeney. Michael Ball gave him this acting quality I was talking about before. Obviously Imelda Staunton as well and her comedy timing and everything was just spot on. Since then I have been kind of obsessed with Imelda but also with Stephen Sondheim and I still don't know all of his musicals but I'm working my way through them. I also love Into the Woods, Sunday in the Park with George, Merrily We Roll Along, <laughs> all of them really. What I love about him is that although the songs aren't easy, clearly you have to be able to sing, most importantly he writes for actors. So the action I was talking about earlier is always sort of in the structure of the song itself. It can often be uh, a character deciding, such as the baker's wife is in Into the Woods, if you know the song Moments in the Woods, so the character is like, oh, this was a mistake, oh my god, I would love this, but no, 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 oh, but the prince was so lovely. You know, there's something going on in the music itself, with the lyrics and with everything. It's not like the time stops and there's a song, but the story actually progresses through the song itself and that's that's what I like. So yeah, Sondheim is now my huge inspiration. I feel like I'm always finding new things in his work. He just amazes me every time. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite musicals are. I would love to continue this discussion in the comments. And have a lovely day. Bye.